Guys, I am just cracking up so hard. I can't even do a proper intro. Oh my gosh, if you've never seen Napoleon Dynamite, you have got to go watch it right now. Okay guys, today I am in Preston, Idaho, where they filmed Napoleon Dynamite. If you have never seen that movie, you've got to go watch it right now. I have been standing out here for about 25 minutes laughing so hard, just trying to get this intro. Right behind me is the actual senior high school where they filmed the movie. <laughs> I, I'm so excited to be here, and I just I have all these lines going through my head from the movie. It's so hilarious, I just cannot even stop laughing. In one of these rooms in here is where he would have said, Last week, Japanese scientists played detonators at the bottom of... I can't even get it out, it's so hilarious. Last week, Japanese scientists explace, place explosive detonators at the bottom of Lake Loch Ness to blow Nessie out of the water. Now when I did The Goonies and Stand By Me in Oregon, I did them in order because the movie actually starts in one place, it takes you to a bunch of different filming locations, and it ends in a totally different place. But Napoleon Dynamite, there's so many things that are filmed throughout the movie at his house and at the school and at different places over and over again, that we're just gonna kinda run around and see these places today. Starting right here at Preston High School, the home of the Indians. Yeah, this is the actual high school, guys, uh, and the location where they filmed a lot of scenes from uh, Napoleon Dynamite. Right up here you might recognize these steps. You can see the curves in the handrails here. And right here is where Napoleon would have been sitting when he was drawing the Liger. What are you drawing? A Liger. What's a Liger? It's pretty much my favorite animal. It's like a lion and a tiger mixed. Right for its skills of magic. Now, unfortunately, the doors are locked. I was hoping we would get to go in here because I want to show you like the color scheme inside the school. That color scheme is what it is actually like in this school. They didn't just do that for the movie. So unfortunately, the best we can do is come up here and look through some of these windows. Maybe see if we can get a glimpse of the lockers or something else. Okay, so welcome to Preston High School. That's what it looks like right inside the doors. There's a, a window over there. I don't think... Just at first glance, I don't think that's the window where uh, Napoleon comes up and wants to make a call to Kip to get some chapstick. Can you bring me my chapstick? No, Napoleon. But my lips hurt real bad. No, because in the scene, there's actually steps behind him when he's looking in the window at the, uh, at the receptionist lady. So that is not the right area. And there's too much of a reflection on those windows in there, so I can't see any farther in there. But I did notice the uh, the bike rack is still over here, where Pedro had his bike, his sledgehammer. You ride the bus to school? No, I ride my bike. What kind of bike do you have? It's a sledgehammer. Dang! And look at this, holy crap. This thing right here, this old bike lock, this is actually in that scene in the movie. You can see it. I cannot believe that is still there. So in the movie, the bike rack would have been sitting a little bit more out here, and the scene would have been like from right here. And then at one point they show Napoleon, and there's actually a tree over here that they would have taken out, but you can still see this concrete over here. They obviously did some landscaping since then, but yeah, the tree would have been like right around in this area here. And Napoleon says, you got shocks, pegs, Lucky! You got shocks, pegs, lucky. All right, let's go down here and see if we can see in another one of these doors. Maybe we can see some lockers or something. I wanna see those colored lockers. Hmm, you know, it is summer, so they are cleaning up. You can see all those bags in there, but uh, really can't see any color schemes down here yet. 
I mean, except for the yellow. There's the gym right there. Man, I wish we could go in there and just look around. All right, we're around the back of the school. There's a couple cars here, so maybe with any luck, we'll find somebody and they'll let us in just to get a couple shots. But here's a couple more doors we can look in. What in the world? There's just a random scooter down there and a ramp. Somebody probably tried to ride. Oh, it's just dark there. Crap, I really wanted to see. Oh, okay. There's some lockers up there. So you can see the color scheme in those lockers right there. At least that's a little glimpse. Okay, this is a cafeteria. I don't know if it's the cafeteria. I'd have to go back to the movie and see if there's any of that floor that I could match up. Really can't see much on the walls in there because there's too much of a reflection um, as far as anything to match up in the background where they're sitting there and, and uh, <laughs> Napoleon's eating his tots and he's like, <laughs> How long did it take you to grow that mustache? A couple of days. I wish I could grow one. You gonna eat your tots? All right, here's a bunch more windows and stuff we can look in. Okay, here's a long hallway. But again, there's no lockers. Where the heck are all the lockers in this school? Oh look, I voted for Pedro. Okay, right back here is the football field. All right, well, we are back to the front, guys. We'll take one more look here. And then we'll head out to find Napoleon's house. Preston Senior High School. All right, guys, this is it right here. Holy crap. We are at Napoleon Dynamite's house. You see this house right at the very beginning of the movie when Napoleon is standing right here looking in his trapper keeper waiting for the bus to arrive. Oh my gosh, so many hilarious scenes happened at this house. The bus comes from that direction right there and pulls up right here. Napoleon gets on and he throws his action figure out the window and it bounces down this road right here as they travel that direction. What are you gonna do today, Napoleon? Whatever I feel like I wanna do, gosh! This is the porch right here where Deb shows up and tries to sell her boondoggle keychains. And here we have some boondoggle keychains. Already made like affinity of those at scout camp. And Kip is sitting right inside there and says, Your mom goes to college. <laughs> then right over here is where uh, Napoleon would have come out when he was so mad that he had to feed the llama. Napoleon comes jumping off the porch right here and he comes this way with a big container and he's like, Dina, you fat lard, come get some dinner. A couple of the fence posts still exist right here, but there's no more down there. There is no fence and there's obviously no llama. I would die if Tina came walking up here right now. Tina, eat. Eat the food. Eat the food. Oh my god, this movie is so hilarious. That's also the porch where Kip and Uncle Rico are sitting eating their steaks. And Uncle Rico is so stuck back in 82. He's like, back in 82, I could... <laughs> back in 82, I used to be able to throw a pigskin a quarter mile. Are you serious? I'm dead serious. And in that same scene, Uncle Rico's looking over this way at these mountains, and he's like, How much you want to make a bet I can throw a football over the mountains? Coach would have put me in fourth quarter. We'd have been state champions, no doubt. Just then, Napoleon and Pedro come riding the bike up this way, and Uncle Rico reaches over and takes Kip's stake, and he throws it and hits Napoleon in the <gasps> face. What the heck are you doing? That's what I'm talking about. Oh, and one more before we go, guys. <laughs> in another scene, Napoleon would have been standing right there in the front yard, looking across the street into this field here, where Lyle is just about to shoot a cow. You can see that mountain back there in the background, and he's out there fiddling with his gun for a few minutes, and just when he's ready, the school bus comes rolling down here, he shoots the cow, and all the kids on the bus see it. All right, guys, I'm sweating like crazy out here. Let's go find Pedro's house. I love this so much. Everybody who drives by knows exactly what I'm doing out here. That guy just drove by and took a picture of the house as well. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm not even kidding. There's a whole bunch of cars that just pulled in and a steady stream over here coming in here to see Napoleon's house. How cool is this? You ever take it off any sweet jumps? All right, guys, this is it. This is Pedro's house right here. Now things look a little bit different because we got a gigantic tree over here, but this roof over here is exactly the same. So it was a little overhang right there. And right here is where he would have taken his bike off the sweet jump. You got like three feet of air that time. Can I try it really quick? Caught you a delicious bass. 
Okay guys, one of my favorite scenes of the movie is whenever Deb and Napoleon are playing tetherball. And that, you would think, would be filmed at the actual school where they filmed the rest of the stuff. But it's actually filmed over here at Oakwood Elementary. I honestly don't know exactly where. And I'm not even sure if the uh, tetherball post still exists. Let's just look over here. Oh, here we go, guys. Holy crap, there's the tetherball pole right over there. Yes. <laughs> okay, you see these little things that you climb on over here in the jungle gyms over here. And then this little orange thing right here that you throw the ball up in and it falls down. All that can be seen in the scene where they're playing tetherball. tetherball. And here is the post right here. How amazing is this? Holy crap, if I knew the ball was gone, I would have bought one and brought it to hang up. I have no internet out here whatsoever right now, so I can't pull up that scene to place it exactly. But yeah, that jungle gym down there, and then these right over here, the pink ones, they look like climbing things, I don't know, something like that. You can see those in the scene. So they must have filmed it from somewhere over here. I think you can see like the corner of the building here. So let's see, if we come over here, I remember a house you could see in the background too. And the scene is pulling away like this and you can see the corner up here. Yep, just about right here would have been where they did it. So yep, there it is guys. I wish I could play some tetherball. <laughs> But that thing is long gone. Oh, and in the movie also, there was, a, I think, a tire around there or something. Whenever I watch these movies back to do the locations, I always pay attention to so many little details. Because you have to in order to play some right. So, all right, we're out of here. On to the next place. All right, guys, I'm especially excited about this one. Right now, we are going to the thrift store where Napoleon bought the Psy, the ninja size and his suit for the dance. Here it is. We're gonna go in and check this out. I am so excited, guys. Holy crap. And right off the bat, I recognize the lights and the stripes around the sides. Oh my gosh, this is awesome. It would be so sweet if we found a Preston High School t-shirt in here. Holy crap, guys, we got here just in time. It is two minutes till five. They are about to close. And look what I just found. Flippin' Napoleon's moon boots. Let's see if we can find some ninja size just real quick. I don't see any yet, but if they had them, they'd be over here. Where are you, ninja si Look at this cell phone. I actually used to have one of these. Look, it flips open, and you can watch TV on it. I actually watched Michael Jackson's uh, funeral on this phone right here. Holy crap. The things you find in thrift stores. Come on, let us find at least a plastic toy ninja sai. I would like crap my pants if I found one, guys. <laughs> that would be so hilarious. All right, it doesn't look like it's gonna happen. But anyways, yeah, take a quick look here. This is where he would have been shopping, right here for the Psy. And you can see all the lights there, the rectangle lights. And then uh, up here, you can see where the ceiling drops down. So that means that the mannequin that they were looking at the suit, look at this sweet suit. <laughs> would have been about right here, because you can see that ceiling where it drops down right there in the scene. Pedro, how do you feel about that one? It looks nice. Yeah, it looks pretty sweet. It looks awesome. And let's just look real quick to see if they have Napoleon Dynamite. I do not see it. Hold on, we got one more layer of movies here. Napoleon, where are you? Are you here, Napoleon? Crap, they don't have it. Oh, and one more little tidbit about this store. They actually got most of the wardrobe for the whole movie from this store right here. Man, that was luck, guys. Two minutes before they closed the doors. I'm so glad we got to get in there and see that. All right, guys, everything about the front of the building of our next location has changed. Welcome to Rex Quando. <laughs> When Deb's outside the door at Napoleon's house trying to sell him boondoggle keychains, Kip is inside watching a commercial for Rex Quando that was filmed right here in front of this building. After one week with me and my dojo, you'll be prepared to defend yourself with the strength of a grizzly. A lot about this one has changed. This stuff around the bottom here and around here used to be black. You can still see all the brickwork over here, but this was totally different over here. You can only see like a little bit of it over here. 
And then the facade up here, it was like a strange diamond shaped thing with the Rex Kwon Do sign right in the middle. Come down today for your free trial lesson. Okay guys, in the next scene, Kip and Uncle Rico are sitting at the kitchen table discussing how they're gonna sell the 32-piece set. Uncle Rico turns around and looks at Napoleon and he says, I think we should take this someplace a little more private. And they go to Poppin' Pins Bowling Lanes. All right, I believe we can go in and holy crap. Look at this, this whole place is signed by people. Oh my gosh, look, Uncle Rico was here. <laughs> All right, let's go in and see how it looks in here. Poppin' pins, holy crap, it looks the same, guys. Guys, look at this. Look how amazing this is. It looks exactly like it did in the movie. Look, the welcome to Poppin' Pins sign up there. And let me think, if I remember this correctly, Kip was bowling in the fifth lane from the left. So one, two, three, four, five. The fifth one right there under the sun. That is hilarious. So that means that this right here is where they would have been sitting and talking, Uncle Rico and Kip. How funny is that? Look at this, guys. It looks exactly like it did in the movie. This is so amazing. I love seeing stuff like this, and I love that they haven't changed a thing. How amazing. All right, there's a whole bunch of people coming in here to bowl, so I'm gonna scat. There it is, guys, one more time, the Poppin' Pins Lanes. I cannot believe that everything in there was exactly the same as it was when they filmed the movie. Okay, guys, I got time for one more today. So I drove up this long, rocky road here in my little car <laughs> to find this spot. This is called Lamont Reservoir. Look at this down here. There's guys fishing down here and everything. But this right here is what I came out here to see. These mountain formations over here. Because right up here is where Kip and LaFonda got married. <laughs> So in the part where they're showing the whole wedding party, you can see this perfect line of mountains and hills in the background here. And whenever they show Uncle Rico and everybody watching, you can see this right in the back, that structure right back there. But the question is exactly where did they film it? And I think being that all this is hill going down and all this over here is hill, it would have had to be up on this hill over here. That is like the only area where it's flat enough that they could have set that up. And still, looking from right there over the wedding party, you still would get that same mountain and uh, hill formation there. So, yep, right here is where Kip and LaFonda got married. Yes, I love technology, but not as much as you, you see. All right, guys, I know I skipped a handful of places, but I just don't have the time to do them today. I got to get out of town tomorrow morning, so I got to go pack. I hope you enjoyed this video. I love Napoleon Dynamite. If you've never seen it, go watch it right now, and I will see you guys in the next video.